What's going on, Ophiuchus? How are you? I hope you are doing well out there, wherever you are. Welcome to Ophiuchus and Me. On the 14th of June, 2023, we are here again. It is Wednesday, and it's 7.19. I appreciate all of you guys for rocking it here with me today. Stopping by to see what's going on, see what vibe we get. And uh, just appreciate all of you guys for all the contributions that you have done thus far in helping me and this channel grow in advance. Thank you so very much. And if you're new, thank you as well. I appreciate your time and your energy. And I uh, hope you guys like, hope you stay, hope you enjoy. And like I said, if you've never been here before, I do Oracle, I do Index, I do Three Decks. Okay, let's rock with the Priestess of Light Oracle today. And let's see what's going on. Hope you guys all had a lovely day today. Hope it was productive. You stayed cool and enjoying yourself as you should. Staying away from negativity and just, you know, living life to the fullest every day. One more time. All right. Let's see what we got. Harvest, 44, gathering of blessings. It's time to go get your blessings. I was watching um, the internet. I think it was YouTube this morning. Could have been Instagram. I'm not sure. And it was this little boy singing uh, a gospel song. I believe it was by Mary Mary. And he's like, um, it's time to go get your blessings. Go get and go get and go get get your blessings. You know, it was like, oh, he's so cute. So yeah, you know, number forty-four on top of that. You know, God is all over everything. You know, and uh, when you put in the work, everything else follows. You know. So here it says, the priestess of the harvest gazes at. An ear of corn with great reverence and appreciation for this sacred sustenance. The cause, which were the seeds, along with the effect, the nourishing food, coexist right in her hands. A tribute to the bounty and blessings of Mother Earth. The priestess knows that her own efforts and intentions are part of the ongoing abundance that nature provides. When you receive this card, you are being put on notice that your harvest is coming. There is a project or goal to which you have devoted much effort and attention, and you are about to reap the rewards. You have planted your intentions with care and taken the action needed to tend the seeds and cause them to thrive. So if you haven't already seen the fruits of your labor growing in your life, be aware of the potential bountiful results about to come your way. And if there is some work yet to be done, consider the best course of action and make that a priority. Remember, two, the simultaneity, the simultaneity of cause and effect. Even as you are harvesting the blessings of past actions, you are planting the seeds of future outcomes. So as you ready yourself for the coming harvest also know that your sacred appreciation for the gifts you've re i'm sorry let me back it up so as you ready yourself for the coming harvest also know that your sacred appreciation for the gifts you're receiving will be seeding the energetic fields with even more joyous results wow that's awesome. Like I said, you know, you're just out here doing your work. You're out here doing your part. And um, anything with good effort and good intentions, you will reap great results. We all must sow some sort of seed somewhere in our lives and nurture it. One more.
Maybe you're yearning for something or someone's yearning for you or you're yearning for someone. Someone isn't being honest. more time. Time to celebrate. Congratulations. One more time. Abundance is near. Time to celebrate, my dear. It's coming. Hold tight. Be patient. Last stack. One more time. God has placed you in a special place. So, no need to fear. Never. Someone's name starts with the letter F. All right, let's see what we have here. So the first card is a truck driver. Maybe you drive a, a, a really big truck, 18-wheeler or something like that. You know. Okay. Don't fall for it. No skill being learned. Um, I belong to you and I give all my love to you. That's wrong. A commitment coming. You party under the moonlight. You have met before. Somewhere. Twin flame energy. In another lifetime, huh? New York City lifestyle. Maybe you like to ride motorcycles. You're earth angel. Out here trying to balance things with your beautifulness. You're beautiful inside and out. They feel inadequate. You're very inquisitive. You want to know things. Not playing no games, though, with nobody. Did you ask for a sign? 
you're very grounded. Um, ooh, la la la, it's the way that we feel the way we know it's real. That's uh, Tina Marie. Power up. Maybe you're a child care provider or thinking of becoming one. Yes. It is time for a change. I don't see anyone else but you. Stand in your truth. A whole new you is emerging. Limitless. It's your time. Ascending. Maybe someone just graduated. I have here the graduation cap. Um, you're moving up in the world. That's what it says at the bottom. Yeah, ascending. Chocolate men are her type. Someone's name starts with the letter C. Clarissa, Clarence, um, Courtney, Blue. Next. It's complicated. Eyes are watching you. Make vacation plans. You're a casino goer or gambler. Tonight. You aren't the same you aren't the same person they knew. They are in need of some major help. Maybe you're a musician. Born between 2001 and 2005. You would be getting ready to graduate if you were in this 2004-2005. Um, you just graduated or you're about to or something like that. Um, show Mickey we're lucky, bitch. <laughs> That's the card that I made. Because my mom and my grandma and <clears throat> elders used to play cards. And it's like when they get lucky, they say that out loud, you know. Show Mickey we're lucky, bitch. Rest in peace to both of them. Here we have um, Breathe. Take a long walk. Sip some lemonade. Take your clothes off and relax in the shade and just breathe. Just that. They had... No clue. Maybe you're a performer on stage. You have a musician right here. <clears throat> Yesterday. Hmm. Um, shock people with your talent. Okay. They are still waiting on you to change your mind. They may be waiting for a while, huh? Something is so elementary. A challenge is only a challenge. Don't miss that opportunity. Because something is in plain sight. It's your time. Co-worker. <clears throat> you could be interested in a co-worker or talking to some sort of you know, co-worker situation. You have a two-drink limit. <clears throat> you're celibate at this time. Or maybe you're trying to stay celibate, so you have a two-drink limit. <laughs> Karmic family around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Educated and successful. And um, deleting a social media platform. Maybe you're just over it. And you're like, mm -mm, everybody's in my business. I'm tired of this. I have to delete for a while and get away or something. So, let's see what we get. <clears throat> so, we have three song cards out here. Okay. Oh, la, la, la. It's the way that you feel when you know it's real. And I belong to you. And I give all my love to you. And um, take a long walk. Sip some lemonade. Take your clothes off. And 
Relax in the shade and just breathe. That's Jill Scott, Rome, and Tina Marie. Did you ask for a sign? You have been ascending. You're moving up in the world. You're beautiful inside and out. Okay, you're an earth angel. Power up. They are in need of some major help. You aren't the same person that they knew. Something possibly happened yesterday or it could happen tonight. You're very grounded. Okay, you have met somewhere before. It could be a twin flame. Maybe your child care provider or trying to become one. You want to um um I'm sorry. You want to Hmm, make vacation plans soon. <laughs> All right. You're a truck driver in New York City lifestyle, or you drive a motorcycle, okay? You perform on a stage. Maybe you're a musician. People are shocked with your talent. Maybe you're into a co-worker-like type love, and you're born between 2001 and 2005. Your name can start with the letter C. You're not playing no games. You're very inquisitive. It's your time, Okay. New skill is being learned. Don't fall for something. Okay, she'll make you were lucky. Bitch, you. they had no clue. Something so elementary. Elementary. They're still waiting on you to change your mind. Karmic family around. Don't miss that opportunity, okay? Something is in plain sight. There are eyes watching you. You deleted a social media platform, okay? A whole new you is emerging. It's time for a change. Um... Someone says, I don't see anyone else but you. You could be a casino goer or a gambler. Um, that's it. You're celebrating at this time. Two drink limit. And um, they feel inadequate. And standing your truth and power up. All right. And there's a commitment coming soon. And you like to party under the moonlight. All right. And your color is blue. And what's going on next? That's it. One more time. All right. Six of Swords. That is being grounded and seeing the end of the tunnel, clarity, being able to, um, like I said, you know, like you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Things are perfect, smooth sailing. Okay, so things are going good for you. Hmm. In the background, he said, I got the moves like Jagger, you know. Yeah, you got the, the magic wand, okay? You have all the passion that life requires. And you have done all the work with great intention. That's why it's smooth sailing for you. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're vibrant. You realize the energy of the sun and God together. What more could you ask for? That's beautiful. That's how you were able to gain and, and receive that harvest. You know, maybe you really do, you know, um, plant food and things like that. And you're like ever so grateful that, you know, your your food grew and you got a, a bountiful harvest. And because God is with you and your fruit and your food and all, all of that there. Or it could be something totally different. But I just said that, you know, because she was looking at her corn. So here, with the Seven of Cups and then the Nine of um, Swords falling up underneath this wand here. You know that there are multiple things that you could do. Your li is limit. You're limitless, okay? There are a lot of different things that you can do with your time. You're talented. You love to do a lot of different things. You're a very talented person. And here with the um, Nine of Swords, this first thing that came to my mind was what's here is the karmic family, you know, or deleting social media. You know, just too many different people talking about you because you are so radiant and so powerful 
you know, and you're not backing down. You're continuing to ascend, okay? A whole new you is emerging, and you could really care less, you know, <laughs> about what anybody thinks. So here with the Six of Cups, is somebody that you have known that's significant to you, <clears throat> okay? Don't know how long you've known them. It could have been some, if you just graduated from high school, it could have been somebody you went to junior high with or elementary or something like that, or a close family member, okay, that you love and you don't feel is karmic or, you know, negative in any type of way. Excuse me. And here you have the judgment. So things are, are happening for you because you are genuine, okay? And you appreciate, you're very appreciative of good energy. So it could be someone, one somebody or a couple people in your life that are for you. Or one someone that recognizes you because it has commitment. So King of Cups. And then here with the Eight of Swords. So, you've been thinking a lot about some things. Um, or wondering why something is the way that it is. And it's just like overthinking though, you know. It says a challenge is only a challenge. So, like I said, with the people talking about you and all those things, it's like you're going to overcome all of that because you are this very loving, balanced individual that is grounded. <laughs> you are grounded out here. You're grounded in the right energy. You love God. And you're not about to let negativity come in and have their way with you. Okay. So here with the Six of Pentacles. I'm not too sure if this is... You're now working with people that are more vibrant or more on your energy or more or that match your energy okay and then you have here eight of wands like things are moving smoothly for you you have that six of swords and then here five of pentacles and that talks about lack and not having or feeling left out of something so maybe, you know, you have the karmic family and other people from the outside sources of things. Eyes are watching you. People are watching you, your, your come up, what you're doing, how you're living. They always have something to say or something of that nature. And you're really not worried about it because you know, like I said, you have... You have the passion, you have the drive, you have the gifts. So you're able to do what you do because it was God given and you have good intention. You're grounded. You you love God, you're with God, you know, God is with you. And you have here the six of pentacles, but I'm not too sure if this is saying that you were working with some people. And they were talking about you. So you got to moving and, and maybe you felt a little bit left out. You like kept it moving, you know, like you had no time for that. Like with people that you were working with. Hmm. Interesting. But depending on, you know, like. It's not the best thing leaving people behind and it's not the easiest thing also, you know, and or deleting, you know, social medias and not being active like that. 
you know, so it could, it, you could possibly feel a little bit of lack or feeling left out. Like, you know, you don't have a, a certain, you know, communication link to people. Um, interesting. So now I have here the four of pentacles. And then here, hmm, the queen of wands. Interesting. So that's holding on to tightly someone here. Like I said, you know, commitment coming. Maybe you're starting to work with someone that you trust or, I don't know, someone that you've known possibly with the Six of Cups here, and you're just starting to move forward, you know, like you're not letting anything, like I said, attach to you or get you down. Even though it may have a small a bit of uh, feeling like you were missing out on something. But you're holding on tight to this person who has like the same type of energy as you. Hmm. But is it saying that she's not single? With the nine of pentacles? Or is she still like in the process of trying to become a queen of pentacle possibly um but usually it mean like married um single you know like single and independent i mean like i said it, i mean if this is work like okay you know she's not a single woman she's out here you know like it's not someone that you it could mean it doesn't have to mean love it just means that you are this loving person with the king of cups you know you're not going to allow people to take advantage of you and you're focused on yourself okay we've been getting that a lot and you're now trying to work with someone okay that matches your energy that's going to help you grow it says here new skill being learned so maybe this person is going to teach you some things and maybe she's a married woman or something like that. But you're trying to hold on to this particular person because they have good energy. And you like you you just want to kind of be around them or something like that and like soak up the game or something like that. And yeah, you're ready to like just take off uh, into a new space with this person. You really do appreciate them. Um, they're possibly teaching you, you know, things. So, you know, that means that they're a little older than you, especially if I'm speaking to someone that was born between 2001 and 2005, you're still a young person, you know, with a lot to learn, you know. So, yeah. It says don't miss that opportunity. So you're trying to really hold on to this energy of this person because you see how they can help you, you know. Hmm. Okay. One more time. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Ten of Pentacles, abundance. You see that for your life. And you want that for your life. You want to be secure in your finances. You want to, yes, have that family be that, you know, husband that supports and takes care of your family. So, this one flew out first. And then that one. Hmm. So, you had to leave some things behind in order to allow the old you to die and 
be born again. It's time for a new change. A whole new you is emerging. You know, you want to work with an, a whole nother type of individual. Okay. And like I said, this isn't about love right now. Okay. With the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is, has nothing to do with that. You know. You just want, yeah. You just want to begin to work with this person with the Three of Coins. You want to see where this can go. And that's what it was about, working with this person and continuing to work with this person. You want to work hand in hand with this person. So you're very um, adamant about staying with this person, learning from them. They're teaching you a lot. And then once you get all those great things, then it'll be time for you to celebrate. And you'll have a solid foundation like that Ten of Pentacles once you've learned everything that you needed to learn. So here are Page of Wands in reverse. You've already made the move this, you know, towards greatness, and that was working with her. You know, there's no more moves to make as far as you're concerned. <laughs> you're like, great. I've gotten where I need to get. And um, five of swords. You don't doubt anything. That's beautiful. The star. Healing energy all around. Okay. All right, guys. This is the last deck. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. If you're still here with me, mwah, thank you guys so very much. I appreciate all the energy that you guys give and the love and the support. Thank you guys so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like a few kids, I'll be back doing another daily read for you tomorrow, frightfully. And if not tomorrow, sometime soon. All right, here we go. One more time. Oh. Ooh, eight cups. So you walked away from people, energies, things that weren't, um, productive, uh, positive, energetically, you know, um, just negative. You walked away from negativity. You know, you walked away from people that don't know anything. Like I said, it may have left you feeling a little bit like, dang, uh, I do kind of, you know, miss that realm of social media and all of that stuff, but that key that death and rebirth, something else greater is going to come out of that, you know. But it requires you to be in that space for just a minute. No one's trying to come in, offer you love. You're not ignoring love. This is not about love. This is um, <clears throat> this is work-related. Okay, here with the justice card. You feel like things are starting to balance out in your life because you've left certain things alone. You feel like, um, like you know, yeah. energetically, like just lighter, you know, happier or something, you know. People aren't on your business saying little side comments about everything. Like, who are you? So here, Eight of Cups falling out again, but now. Excuse me, in the reverse. So, <clears throat> you're not going to walk away from what you've done, how you're feeling. You're not going to just change course all of a sudden, you know, and walk away from this. You're not walking away from this. This empress here, she's, she's helping you birth things, okay? She's like a mom or something. She's married or something, okay? I mean, she could possibly be married and with baby or child or something right now. I don't know. But she's already 
like a mom or about to be and or also she's just helping you birth ideas and, and get yourself together okay and you're really looking at your life like wow you know things are moving so fast you know like just a couple of years ago i was like you know in the 11th grade i'm just going off of those dates and now you know right here in the present i'm just now graduating and look in a couple more years i could be here or something like that you know so yeah you're really looking at things and um until this energy comes in your space you're not really worried about um love i guess you know but you know it's out there you know but you're not really focused on that right now this is about work and you have went underneath someone's um wing and you're learning and you're happy about what you're learning and you're a little like i said a little saddened that you kind of left certain things behind you but you're learning so much and you're very appreciative and there's going to be a lot of harvest that you're going to reap from being with this person so love you guys take care and have a good rest of your day see you soon bye bye